our turn like to irrigate our fields. Mm. At first glance, this hole on Ford operating base Wolverine could be misconstrued for some sort of bunker or reinforced fighting position. But if you look closer, you'll see a hole that descends almost 50 feet and has water at the bottom. The hole leads to a Karez. Uh, the Karez network is a, an underground aqueduct, basically. They're spring-fed and there's long shafts that go down to the water every so many feet. She says this Karez network is one that is very important to the welfare of the local village of Boragai. This system is somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 years old. Um, it's been here for a very long time and it takes care of all the irrigation for their village. So somewhere between five and 700 people rely on this water source. Pennington added the Karezes can be dangerous on two fronts. They provide access to the fob, and if anything yeah. happens to them, it can affect the village's water supply. So they've gone to work capping them. Not the soldiers, but the villagers. In addition to making sure that their water supply is safe, we've also been able to pay for the labor. So we've been able to give them a pretty good jolt to their economy. The villagers say the protection of their water supply and extra money ingested into the local economy has not gone unnoticed or unappreciated. It really affects on our life and uh, it provides us more food, I mean more uh, carbs and uh, since we have cleaned this, all the villagers are really happy with that. The Karez project also plays a role in keeping the FOB secure. And it does really help with the protection of the FOB because their village sets not more than 50 meters off of the perimeter. So it's important that we keep good relations like that. The workers have finished five of the 13 Karezes that stretch across the FOB. Pennington says they should be finished with the project by the end of June. Marine Corporal Bradley Hansen, Ford Operating Base, Wolverine, Zabul, Afghanistan. Yeah, see.